Beautiful Orlando in the middle of the Sunshine State, the site for this college football matchup. It's a mild, clear day, so the weather won't be a factor in this battle between the UCF Knights and the Texas El Paso Miners. The season is almost over as these two Conference USA teams prepare to do battle. I'm Brad Nessler, and joining me are my two cohorts, Kirk Herbstreet and Lee Corso. UCF is a team that can beat you in a variety of ways, but the one player to watch out for is their tailback. Some backs will beat you with power, but not this kid. He's a great slashing back, and this kid is very quick, so you can expect a lot of defenders to be missing tackles today. All right, we're ready to go. Let's take it to the coin toss. They'll get the ball here at the 25. UTEP lines up in the double wing. The Miners come out in a double wing. UTEP changing their play. Drop back to pass. Throws. This one is incomplete, and he led his receiver a little too much. One of the things you look for when you have a young quarterback is how he releases the football. Here you can see he releases the ball a little bit early, a sign that he wasn't completely comfortable with what he was seeing. Number 25, adjust the play at the line. He's looking to pass, looking, throws on the run. They knock it down, incomplete. And he did a nice job breaking up that pass. Well, he did a great job here of not risking a big gain. Instead, he just batted it down. It's third and 10. Ball on their own 25. UCF lines up with five defensive backs. He's changing things up. Back to pass. He's scrambling. Aaron and out long. And it's the senior. Scoops up the loose ball. And it looks like the safety got on that one. The offense has to hang on to that ball better. I agree, but you have to give some credit here to the safety. He made a nice play falling on the fumble. They'll go to work at the 39-yard line. First and 10, number 25, is lined up under center. The Miners come out in a double wing. The Miners changing their play at the line. He looks to throw on first down. Zips it right, catches it. He's taken down right around the 44-yard line. I like to say one thing. The reason they were able to get something out of this play is the fact that the quarterback had time to get rid of the football. Good job up front by the offensive line, and don't forget the nice play by the running back as well. The Miners audible to something else. He's looking to pass. Stepping up, scrambling around. He decides to run with it. Tackle at the 25. Number 14 makes the tackle. 19-yard gain on the play. They'll line up at the 25. It's first down. Number 25 lines up under center. Three receivers split out wide. Lock in, lock in. The Miners changing their play at the line. Looks to pass. He throws. And it falls incomplete. Calm down, sweetheart. Quit thinking so much and just throw the football. I don't know if he's thinking too much. He just let that pass get away from him. No, no. I can tell when a quarterback is thinking too much. Just take the snap, drop back, and fire it. You're all right if you do that. I promise you. UTEP using an audible. Drops back to pass. He's scrambling. Here comes the pressure. He's still moving. He's pushed out of bounds at the 10. On the run. 15-yard gain on the play. It's first and goal. 10 yards to the end zone. 
Let's see if their play calling changes now that they're in the red zone for the first time. Number 25, adjust the play at the line. Back to pass. Rolling out to the right side. He's on the run, and they make the stop at the five-yard line. He must not have seen anybody open on that play. Nobody open downfield, but he's got to be careful. I like his toughness, but those kind of hits are going to take a toll on him eventually. <laughs> Sometimes it's as simple as it sounds. Good defensive call there. Texas El Paso changing their play. Looks to pass. Flares one out. It's complete. He's taken down Number at the eight four. Number eight. Reception. Only gains about a yard, yard with that catch. That'll bring up third down. Here we go. Third and goal from the three-yard line. The Miners line up in a double wing. UTEP using an audible. He drops back. End zone. Got it. Touchdown, UTEP. Lee, how about the receiving ability of that running back? This drive will start at the 31-yard line. First down, 10 to go. They come out in a double wing. Texas El Paso lines up in the double wing. Try to change the play. He looks to throw on first down. They bring him down. The blitz worked in their favor, fellas. Yeah, you're right. You're able to get good pressure on a quarterback and free up a defensive lineman for the sack. From their own 23-yard line, second down. UTEP up seven points. Number 25 is under center. Texas El Paso changing their play. Look at the throw. He's scrambling. Rifles at right. Caught. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. But they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. From their own 41-yard line, it's third down. UTEP lines up with two wing backs. They're in the flex bone. The Miners changing their play at the line. They'll try to get the first through the air. Got it to the senior. Number 19 is a bit shaken up, but it looks like we could see him back on the field soon. First and 10. Ball on the 41. The offense is lined up in the flex bone. He's changing things up. They'll throw on first down. Surveys the field. Got him again. Great concentration. A few yards that time on the pass. This is just a little pass to the halfback. Nothing spectacular, but it's plays like these that keep the defense off balance and drives alive. They line up at the 19. First down. And that'll be the end of the first quarter with our score. UTEP, 7. UCF, nothing. The defense sets up with five defensive linemen. Number 25 changes the play at the line. First down, look at the throw. Rolls right. And he can't get away from the pressure. He'll feel that one in the morning. You bet he will. I mean, just look at that guy that sacked him. He's a monster. I could have swore I felt the earth shake when he hit the ground. Going with the shotgun here. He's changing things up. Looking to throw. Surveys the field. Finds a man again. 
They finally have him, but now it's first and goal. Good pickup on that pass play to the fullback. Look at the soft hands in that big fella. Throw it to him again. Texas El Paso. First and goal about to go up by two scores. The Miners come out showing three wide. UTEP changing their play. He drops back. Can't find anyone open. Number eight was the intended target on the play. So that'll make it second down. We've got second and goal. This is the eighth play of this drive. Number 25 is under center. The Miners changing their play at the line. Looking to throw. He scrambled. He's in trouble. And now he's going to run. He's tackled. Around the three-yard line. Number 25 comes away with five yards on the scramble there. Here it is, folks. Third and goal from the two. Number eight lines up in a deep back. Eye formation. Number 25 adjusts the play at the line. Looking to pass. Looking to the end zone. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. He just beat the ball. The offense will take over at the 21. First down, 10 yards to go. UCF brings in their nickel package. Texas El Paso changing their play. He'll throw on first down. He's looking. And now he's going to run. Got some open field. Number 25. Toss set up. And the ball bounces out of bounds. The offense really caught a break on that fumble, Coach. Yep, it's a good thing for them. The ball skipped out of bounds, or that would have been a pretty bad turnover for this offense. The Miners audible to something else. Drops back to pass. Looks. Throws a bullet. It's batted down. Incomplete. That's just good defense right there, Coach. It was, Kirk. But you know what? It's all reaction. Anytime you're out there on defense and the pass is within arm's length away, you knock it down. Number 25 with three wide receivers. Lucky 95! They're changing the play. Looks to pass. He's on the run. And now he's going to improvise. There he goes. He's out of bounds at about the 47-yard line. Gain of 14 on the play. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 47. They'll line up in a double wing set. UTEP changing their play. He looks to throw on first down. Looks. He's under pressure. Out of bounds at the 32-yard line. The ball carrier. 15-yard gain on the They play. line up at the 32. First down. Number 25 is lined up under center. They're calling an audible. Drops back to pass. Now he tries to buy some time. Deep ball, laying it out there. Into traffic, and it's picked off. They'll start this drive at the 49-yard line. Number 25 is under center. Two tight ends. Number 25 doesn't like what he sees. First down, look at the throw. He looks. He's wrapped up for the sack. The Miners take a timeout, and that was their first timeout. Second and long. UTEP lines up with two wingbacks. They're in the flex bone. 
Texas El Paso using an audible. Drop back to pass. Now he's scrambling. There he goes. Number 25, the ball carrier. 19-yard gain on the play. First the down, 10 to go. Ball on the 37. UTEP calls a timeout. And now they've only got one remaining. Number 25 is lined up under center. The Miners changing their play at the line. Back to pass. He scrambled. He takes off. Got an opening. He goes out of bounds at the 24. 13 yard gain on the play. First and 10. The offense lines up with three wide receivers. Reagan, Reagan, Reagan. UTEP using an audible. First down, look at the throw. Throws! And it's knocked away. Number four was the intended target on the play. That'll bring up second down. It's second and 10. Ball on the 24-yard line. Number 25 is lined up under center. Number 25 with three wide receivers. They're calling an audible. Back to pass. Now he tries to buy some time. Gets past the tackler. And they push him out around the 28-yard line. A four-yard loss from the 28-yard line. Third down. The Miners line up in the flex bone offense. Number 25 calls an audible. He drops back. Looks, rolls to the right. He keeps it. Breaks one. Knocked out of bounds at the 10. He got the first down and much more. I'll tell you what, this guy is a threat every single time he touches the ball. Kirk, you're absolutely right. I like this guy more every time I see him. Number 25 comes to the line under center. He has two tight ends. Number 25 doesn't like what he sees. He's looking to pass. He's on the run. He looks. And he's tackled at the one-yard line. About nine yards there on the quarterback scramble. Nine-yard gain on the play. UTEP time will take their last time out. Offense. Second and one coming up here. About a yard to Pater. They come out in a double wing. Texas El Paso comes out in a double wing. The Knights are changing their call on defense. Looks to pass. Touchdown, UTEP. He got the defense on their heels, and he just waltzed in for the touchdown. Brad, great job of improvising by the quarterback there, showing pass, breaking down the defense. From their own 18-yard line, it's first down. Number 25 lines up under center. Three receivers in the formation. He may have changed things up here. He drops back. He scrambled. He might not be able to get the pass off. And now he's going to run. He gets hit out of bounds. The at the 19-yard line, number 25 only gets about a yard there on the quarterback scramble. They line up at the 19. Second down, number 25 lines up under center. Number 25 adjusts the play at the line. Look at the throw. He's going to try and scramble. And this one's broken up. Excellent job of getting a hand in there to break up the pass. It was, Coach. That one had reception written all over it. But the defender stepped up and made the play. It's third and nine. They line up in the shotgun. Drops back to pass. 
He throws it, and it's caught. He's taken down at the 30-yard line. Wow. That looks like a generous spot to me. I thought he was a little bit short. I don't know, Kirk. I think he's got it. But regardless of the spot, that was a great throw on third down. UTEP using an audible. Back to pass. Can't find anyone open. Another catch. And he's taken down at the 45. So what do you think of this receiver after that play? The quarterback made a nice throw, but it was the receiver who made this happen. That's a great way to make a statement. Yep. I think I would start to double cover this kid. He's just too dangerous. They line up at the 45. First down. Number 25 steps to the line of scrimmage. Eye formation. Number 25 is under center. He has two backs behind him. The Miners changing their play at the line. First down, look at the throw. Rolls right, scrambling around. Steps out of bounds at the 47. This one will lose yards because there was no room left. And the defense forced him in that direction, and then they did a nice job of containing him. So it's second and 12. Number 25 lines up under center. Number 25 is under center. Number 25 calls an audible. He drops back. Stepping up. He fires right. It's broken up. That was a good surge up front by the defensive line. And they were able to knock the ball down before it had a chance to go anywhere. And I wouldn't be surprised to see the coaches go to a three-step passing game so the offensive line can cut the defensive line. That way, it prevents the D-line from getting their hands up. He drops back. Moves up in the pocket. Caught. Tackled. Around the 24-yard line. So on third down, he finds his receiver and gets a big game. Yeah, we saw these guys on Wednesday in practice, and they ran this play over and over for about 20 minutes. Well, if you can get it right in practice, then you usually can get it right in the game as well. The Miners audible to something else. They'll throw on first down. Slings it. Incomplete. Oh, he had his man, too. Yep, he just overthrew him. Next time, he might want to take something off of it. We're at play number nine of this current drive. It's second down. The Miners line up with three wide. Number 25 changes the play at the line. Drops back to pass. Now he's scrambling. They connect again. Way to look it in. What a throw and catch, guys. I'll tell you what, this young kid has a real gun for an arm. He sizes up the play well, and then gets the ball out of there. UTEP looks to take a commanding three-score lead here. Number 25 lines up under center. Two tight ends. Texas El Paso changing their play. And that defense is getting a little excited down there. UTEP trying to go up by three scores. Number 25 is under center. Back to pass. He throws it out to the flat. He's got it. Touchdown, Miners. Good play call that time, right, Coach? Oh, I love their play calling, especially when they get their talented halfback thrown into the mix. They'll start this drive at the 47. First down, 10 yards to go. They come out in a double wing. Bingo, bingo. He may have changed things up here. He looks to throw on first down. He's looking. He'll take it himself. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 32-yard line. On the run. 15-yard gain on the play. First and 10. The Miners come out with the wingbacks. They're in the flex bone. They come out in a double wing. 
Try to change the play. First down, look at the throw. He lets it fly. And it's the senior. And he's tackled Number at the 14. The what a play. Boy, a solid job there by the quarterback, the recognizing the defensive coverage and delivering the ball to the open receiver. It's first and 10. Ball on the 14. Number 25 comes to the line with three wide. Number 25 calls an audible. He's looking to pass. He's on the run, under pressure. They'll bring him down at about the nine-yard line. Number 25 comes away with five yards on the scramble there. Second down. Here we go from the nine. Number 25 is lined up under center. They come out in a double wing. So at the end of the third quarter, the score here in Orlando is the Texas El Paso Miners, 24, UCF, 3. Second down. They'll line it up at the 9. Number 25 changes the play at the line. Back to pass. He scrambled. Going to the end zone. There's a flag down, but I think it's on the defense. This touchdown should stand. They decided to go to the running back on that touchdown pass. First and 10. Ball on the 41-yard line. Number 25 is under center. The Miners changing their play at the line. He's looking to pass. He's scrambling. Somehow gets the ball away. They're very fortunate that pass wasn't picked off. The quarterback threw it right into the hands of the safety. I can't believe he dropped it. I don't think he can believe he dropped it. The Miners... Come out with the wingbacks. They're in the flex bone. Lucky 95. Number Lucky 25 95. doesn't like what he sees. 98 weasel. 98 weasel. Drops back to pass. Let's it go. It's complete. I credit the quarterback on that pass. He made a great read and delivered a very nice pass for the first down. He set up and put the ball right there where he had to go. Nice play. UTEP lines up with two wingbacks. They're in the flex bone. The Miners audible to something else. They'll throw on first down. Let's it fly. This one will fall incomplete. You got to be careful throwing in the coverage like that. Well, Coach, I don't think it was a poor decision. It was just a great reaction by the man in coverage. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 26-yard line. The Miners come out in a double wing. The Miners line up in a double wing. They're calling an audible. He drops back. Looks. Got him again. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. What a throw and catch, guys. I'll tell you what, this young kid has a real gun for an arm. He sizes up the play well, and then gets the ball out of there. They've got the defense pinned. Ball on the three-yard line. Number 25 is under center. Lucky 95. The Miners Lucky changing their play at the line. to pass. He's scrambling. Touchdown, Miners. Well, he went to his tailback on that one. Well, this kid's a dual threat. Not only does he run the football well, he can catch it as well as anyone on this football team. Here's the Pontiac game-changing performance.